Good morning. Um, our devotional this morning is uh, the meaning of the sacrament of baptism. And I think that sometimes we get a little bit confused because there was a time in our church where we um, hurry scurried to the baptismal font after we had our babies um, when they were two and three weeks old because if something happened to them, we wanted to make sure that they went to heaven. Well, that thought has changed a lot because we realize that when we are born, uh, we are all made in the image of God. And of course, we're children of God. And so um, <clears throat> um, we don't have to worry about those precious children um, not going to heaven. God, we don't have that kind of a God that would uh, send a child to hell. So our, re our little reading here um, is from Romans 6 and verse 11. So you also must consider yourselves dead to sin and alive to God in Jesus Christ. Baptized persons are sacramentally together pure and guiltless. This means nothing else than that they have the sign of God. That is to say, they have the baptism by which it is shown that their sins are all to be dead and that they too are to die in grace. And at the end of the day and on the last day to rise up again to everlasting life, pure, sinless, and guiltless. With respect to the sacrament then, it is true that they are without sin and guilt. Yet, because all is not yet completed and they still live in sinful flesh, they are not without sin, even though they have begun to grow into purity and innocence. You ask, how does baptism help me if it does not altogether blot out and remove sin? Well, first you give yourselves up to the sacrament of baptism and to what it signifies. That is, you desire to die together <clears throat> with your sins and to be made new at the last day. God accepts this desire at your hands and grants you baptism. From that hour, God begins to make you a new person. God pours into you his grace and the Holy Spirit who begins to overcome nature and sin and to prepare you for death and resurrection. Second, you pledge yourself to continue in this desire and to destroy your sin more and more as long as you live, even until your dying day. This too God accepts. God trains and tests you all your life with many good works and with all kinds of sufferings. Thereby, God accomplishes in baptism what you have desired, namely that you may become free from sin, die and rise again at the last day, and so fulfill your baptism. And let us pray. Remind me each day, Lord God, that I am baptized and that I am yours. Amen. It is that those sacramental words um, that we receive that sign of the cross on our foreheads uh, as just a reminder that we are God's. And <clears throat> when we're baptized, our, our parents make the promises for us. Once we are baptized, then we grow up in the faith. And hopefully our parents will teach us the words and uh, we will learn to carry on and um, be a blessing to God and follow God's commands and lead a life 
of Christian hope. And so uh, I believe that once we are baptized, we are just so thankful that we have that. And, uh, and therefore, we take care of our neighbors. We do all those things uh, in the name of God and as a disciple of Christ. So I hope that's been helpful a little bit. Um, we will talk about it a little bit more tomorrow because our devotional tomorrow is about baptism as well. The whole week is kind of a, that's a theme. So I hope you have a beautiful day. It sure looks lovely out there. I see a gentle breeze. I haven't been outside yet, um, but uh, I'm headed that way now. Have a wonderful day and um, I miss you. And I want you to know that you're loved. We met with the council last night and barring disaster, <laughs> we're, we're hoping to get back to church the first weekend in August. So mark that on your calendar. We will have our five o'clock on Saturday service and our 9.30 on Sunday. Um, I know you were, we've kind of gotten out of the habit and we uh, have gotten used to being able to watch church in our pajamas or at four o'clock in the afternoon. Um, you can still do that, but we would love to see your faces in church. I miss everybody so much. And even though we can't hug or, you know, share a sign of peace, we will, we will be together. And um, hopefully, um, well, I'm going to work on a new service this week so that it's a meaningful service that we can speak. And um, perhaps um, I can do some chanting just to add to the service and we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, it's, a, it's a work in progress. Have a good day.